What's up YouTube? Friday, Friday the 13th. Uh, I want to do a little video on uh, a project I've been working on for the last couple weeks. We've been, uh, well I used to raise meat birds, meat chickens years ago, a few years back then we stopped so I'm going to get back into it. But I wanted to make a tractor so I can bring them around and drag them around on the uh, on the grass so they got some fresh grass to eat plus the feed that we're going to give them. So I've been thinking about thinking about I wanted to make it light so I can move it. I don't want to put wheels on. I want to be able to, easy to drag. So this is what I thought up and this is what I'm going with. I made it out of PVC one inch and uh, it is oh I forget how long it is. Is it 12 feet? It might be 12 feet long by uh, almost six foot wide I think I forget what the measurements were but we're only gonna get 10 birds at a clip because you know I got a, I got a pretty big freezer I actually got two freezers but if I raise 50 meat bars I can't fit 50 birds in my freezer so we're gonna do 10 I'm gonna do 10 I'm gonna raise 10 and when I get to this stage probably a week or two before butchering I'll go get another 10 because there's a guy that's there's a hatchery only an hour away from me we can go drive there and go get them so we're going to be doing uh, the Cornish Cross, eight weeks they're done with, ready to go in the freezer. So we're just going to keep that cycle going. We'll get 10, put them in the freezer. By the time the other ones grow, we'll probably be, we already ate, eight, almost 10 of them, and we'll just keep it going like that. Like I said, I, I can't fit 50 chickens because I got ducks I put in the freezer. I got rabbits, we got vegetables, I got a turkey we usually stick in there, I got deer meat in there. It's just... I would have to get three, four freezes. <laughs> well, anyway, this is what I did. I made a little roof over the top, so I'm going to put a tarp over the top. And I wired it all the way around with one inch by two inch uh, cage wire on the bottom, too. And the first two panels, I'm going to be putting a piece of, uh, in, in, in all four squares, there's going to be a piece of fiberglass board. That's going to sit in, four, in all four of those in case they want to get off the wire or get, on, get up on something dry out of the rain or whatever. So these four are going to be covered and four are going to be open so they can peck around the grass. And then we can drag it around the grass area over here. This whole top is going to be able to be opened up. I got to finish it yet. I'm going to hinge it so it flips over this way and then back. We can put the feeders and the waterers. And also, I'm put a door on this side too. I got a door on here that's going to go on and get hinged. So it'll have a tarp to get out of the rain, out of the sun. I'll be able to move it around throughout the field, whatever. I mean, I can even put rabbits in here if I wanted to and let them chew on the grass. But for right now, it's a meat wagon. <laughs> We're going to get some chickens and get them going. All right, YouTube, I got a little bit more to do, and probably next week we're going to get the chicks. They probably won't get out into this thing probably for about at least two weeks, maybe almost three. So we'll see how it goes. We'll keep it updated. All right, YouTube. Take it easy.